Ciao a tutti! Welcome back to Venite a Mangiare! I am super excited that you decided to check out this video because today I'm going to be sharing with you a recipe to help you use up any extra Halloween candy that you have on hand. With 2020 being such a crazy year, I'm sure Halloween is going to look a little bit different this year. Whether or not you're actually celebrating Halloween this year, I'm sure that sometime in the future you're probably going to have a ton of Halloween candy lying around your house and you're going to have no idea what to do with it. Cue leftover Halloween candy chickpea cookies. Probably, honestly, one of the easiest cookie recipes you'll ever make. And not only is it super easy, but it's also very delicious. And it's full of tons of really great protein and fiber, which can help to not only satisfy our sweet tooth, but also can help to satisfy our belly. So let's learn how to put this recipe together. And then afterwards, stick around, we can talk nutrition. For this recipe, you will need one can of chickpeas, a half cup of creamy nut butter, a half cup of pure maple syrup, a fourth cup of oats, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a fourth teaspoon of salt, and three fourths cup of leftover Halloween candy. And if you have any larger pieces, break that up into smaller pieces. Start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees. In a food processor, add chickpeas, nut butter, pure maple syrup, oats, vanilla extract, salt, and baking powder. Blend until smooth and scrape the sides of the food processor as needed. Chill the dough in the freezer for about 5 to 10 minutes. This allows for the dough to cool so that the Halloween candy won't melt into the dough. Once it's cooled, you can either transfer the dough to a separate bowl or you can remove the blade from the food processor and fold in the Halloween candy. Mix until it's well combined. Prepare a baking sheet and scoop the dough into equal portions and arrange on the baking sheet. Bake for 10 to 12 minutes. Once they're done, allow to cool for about five minutes. And I did this way too close to the camera, but trust me, there was a lot of gooey chocolate going on here. Enjoy. You're probably thinking, Chickpeas and cookies, gross. And to that, I say don't knock it until you try it. <laughs> Just to let you guys know, I had my boyfriend try this recipe and asked him to guess the secret ingredient, and he had no idea that it was chickpeas. If you make these, I promise no one will know that you used chickpeas. Chickpeas kind of take on the flavor of whatever you pair them with, and typically we're pairing them as a savory dish, so we often associate chickpeas as having a savory flavor. But when you pair them with foods like maple syrup, peanut butter, and candy, they'll take on more of a sweeter taste and can make a really great base for a cookie. Chickpeas, or garbanzo beans, come from the legume family of plants known as Fabraceae. Other legumes, such as kidney beans, black beans, and lima beans are also a part of this family. The plants that produce chickpeas produce edible seeds called pulses, which have a high nutritional value. Chickpeas in particular are an excellent source of carbohydrate, protein, fiber, B vitamins, folate, and iron, which are great nutrients to support your overall health. Because chickpeas are so high in important nutrients such as protein and iron, they are an excellent food option for people who follow a vegan or vegetarian diet. Believe it or not, you are able to obtain all of the nutrients you need when following a vegetarian or a vegan diet. You will have to supplement 
with things like vitamin B12, and you'll have to be sure to eat plenty of plant-based food sources that contain nutrients such as calcium and iron. But if you're on top of your nutrition, a plant-based diet is totally doable and it can be really great for the environment too. Many people associate protein with food products like meat, eggs, and dairy. And yes, those are excellent sources of protein. But you can also find tons of protein in foods like beans, lentils, tofu, and tempeh, which are foods typically promoted on a plant-based diet. Chickpeas fall into this plant-based, high-protein category, so they are an excellent option for those following plant-based diets. Even if you're not a vegan or a vegetarian, chickpeas can still be incredibly beneficial to your health. Many studies have actually looked at chickpeas specifically and have found many health benefits related to regular consumption of chickpeas, such as managing blood glucose, promoting healthy bowel health, and helping to decrease risk of certain diseases such as heart disease and cancer. Aside from the candy, the main source of sweetness in this recipe comes from maple syrup. Pure maple syrup is made through a process which involves concentrating the sap of a sugar maple tree. Pure maple syrup requires very cold nights and warmer days in order for the sap to flow properly through the trees. Such a climate can only be found in North America, which is why all of the syrup production in the world comes from this tiny region on the map. The top producer for maple syrup is the province of Quebec, Canada, which in 2010 produced a little bit under 8 million gallons of maple syrup or around 80% of the world's supply of syrup. In second place is the state of Vermont, who in 2010 produced a little bit under 900,000 gallons. In terms of nutrition, at the end of the day, maple syrup is still a form of sugar. What sets maple syrup apart from table sugar is its mineral and antioxidant content. In around one third cup of maple syrup, you can find around 165% of the RDI of manganese, which is a trace mineral involved in bone health and nutrient metabolism. Comparatively, maple syrup also has a slightly lower glycemic index compared to table sugar. If we look at pure maple syrup compared to what is considered pancake syrup, you'll notice that there are some very notable differences between these two products. One major difference is the composition. Like I said earlier, maple syrup comes from the sugar maple tree after it has been boiled down to reduce the water content and concentrate the sugars. By contrast, Pancake syrup is a highly processed product that is made from high fructose corn syrup, maple flavoring, preservatives, and coloring. So pure maple syrup would definitely be the healthier option, but I wouldn't get too excited because it still does contain a decent amount of sugar and when eaten in excessive amounts can lead to poor health outcomes. That being said, maple syrup can still be enjoyed in moderation. Okay, this kitchen smells amazing and I'm dying to try one of these cookies, so come eat, venite a mangiare. Consistency is so good. The chocolate is so melty. Oh my God. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. This is just a reminder that this video is made for educational purposes only and should not be taken as medical advice. You should always consult your doctor if you have any questions about your health status. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up below. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell next to it to get notifications for every time I post a video. There will be new videos every Thursday. Thanks again for watching.